If you drive for Uber Eats, how can you get the very best and really the biggest order possible? Well, after driving thousands of trips and transactions and really driving on most every major food delivery app out there, I've identified three things that you can do specifically on Uber Eats to get the biggest orders. Welcome to the channel, my name is Mike. On this channel, I help you with the gig economy, your side hustle, your full-time hustle, creating income and generating multiple revenue streams. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. And for the best accessories for any hustle, check out my Amazon storefront, that linked down below. So food delivery apps, it's pretty easy, right? It's pick up from A, drop off to B, it's really one customer. Sometimes you may have two customers or even three customers. Now, firstly, you need to do the basics to make the most money possible. And that's on any app, the basics as far as understanding your marketplace, understanding the bonuses, when are the best bonuses offered, can you combine bonuses, and can you multi-app, that's driving on multiple apps at the same time, and simply picking the best order for you. And then also something that I don't think a lot of drivers are doing is looking at the data as well. So you have your own personal experience when you're driving, you say, hey, I think this is the best time. Well, compare that to actually what the actual data is saying as far as when is the best time. So that experience, as you drive more and more shifts, right? It's trend analysis, looking at that actual data and then being honest with yourself. Maybe Uber Eats isn't the best app in your marketplace. Have you compared with DoorDash? Have you compared with Grubhub? But today we're looking at Uber Eats specifically, how to get the biggest and the best, really the highest paying orders on the platform. So if we were to define what's the biggest order on Uber Eats, I want you to look for orders that are 10 plus dollars, 15 plus dollars. Now keep in mind again, this is market dependent. If you're in a very small marketplace, if you don't have really that many restaurants that are on the Uber Eats platform, and conversely, if you have more drivers as well, it's gonna be higher competition and you may be slower. But this is food for thought. Three hacks that are specific to Uber Eats. Hack number one, the profile hack. My twin brother, Matt, here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania as well, is a big believer in this profile hack. And again, this is exclusive to Uber Eats. Other platforms do not have this. What I'm referring to specifically is your driver profile, generally on the Uber or the Uber Eats platform. You don't have the level of detail that you would have, let's say, if you drive on a DoorDash or if you drive on Postmates, those platforms don't have this. So what we're gonna do is go into our account settings. Go into your driver profile and we're gonna do this profile hack. It's simply adding some kind of an ethos appeal, some kind of emotional appeal to your customer. So it's gonna ask you, you know, why are you driving? Just provide us a little bit of detail about you as a driver. Again, why are you driving or why are you delivering? Actually, let me know down below in the comments. One, are you aware that you even had this feature on Uber Eats? And two, have you filled it out yet? So if that profile is blank, there is literally no appeal, there's no emotional connection to anything to you as a driver. Matt used this hack to get more tips, ultimately more earnings. At the time, he was saving for an engagement ring. So he simply put in there, you know, why are you driving? He said, I am saving up for an engagement ring. So maybe you also have an engagement coming up. Maybe you have a big purchase, maybe a first time home buyer, or you're just trying to simply support your family. Put it in there as a profile hack. It's gonna be an emotional appeal to your customer. And surprisingly, yes, your customers actually do check out this driver profile because a lot of them are tracking their order. Matt specifically had customers that said, hey, congrats on the upcoming engagement. So our goal here in trying to get the biggest order, right? It's number one, obviously trying to get orders with a higher base pay, that's number one. And then number two, it's trying to find orders with a higher bonus pay. But number three, it's trying to get the biggest tip possible. All of that combined equals your order pay. So don't ignore this, use the profile hack and try to get more tips. Hack number two that's really unique to Uber Eats, it's really investing in the extra mile for customer service, again, for more tips. Strictly looking at the sales data, as far as market share, DoorDash is a clear number one. But the problem on the consumer end, and ultimately for you as a driver, is those customers are tipping ahead of time. In my opinion, it's not really ideal. It doesn't quite make sense to tip ahead of time before the actual delivery has been made, but compare that to really the opposite on Uber Eats where those customers are tipping after the delivery. So yes, while DoorDash is number one, you may be pretty busy on the DoorDash platform, 
When it comes to Uber Eats, your customer service, being prepared, having friendly service, listening to delivery instructions, and having the right equipment may be better rewarded with tips on the Uber Eats platform. And then hack number three to get the biggest orders on the Uber Eats platform is to combine promos. And these are promos that, again, aren't found on other platforms. Different than DoorDash, Uber Eats has different pay promos to you as a driver as far as multipliers and surge pay. Now, surge pay, that is a per delivery bonus for picking up in busy zones. Now, you may be thinking, well, DoorDash also has per delivery bonuses. That's a bonus, let's say, an extra $2 for doing a delivery during a certain time. And yes, Uber Eats is similar in that sense, where the surge pay is a per delivery bonus. If it's busy, if you're picking up in that zone, again, you'll get that extra $2 per delivery. But the thing that's different with Uber Eats is they have additional pay bonuses. They actually have multipliers called Boost. And funny enough, it's actually quite similar to the surge pay. It's picking up again in busy areas, but at this time, there'll be an earnings multiplier for picking up in that busy zone. Let's say 1.1, 1.4, 1.6 times the pay. But here's the hack with Uber Eats and you as a driver. Unlike, again, DoorDash, these bonuses on Uber Eats can be combined. So you could very well get a 1.3x bonus on boost pay. You could also get an additional, let's say, $3 if it's also in a surge zone. And you can hopefully get even more tips with the profile hack and ultimately great customer service. So here's what you're gonna do, your next steps for your next shift. Number one is you're gonna to continue to learn and ideally take some notes, record some numbers as far as the best times and places to drive for so it's busy enough so you're getting strong order requests. Number two, go into the promotions tab. I would look at when are promotions being offered. Are you missing them? Can you slightly tweak your schedule to take advantage of some of those promos? And then also take a look at the boost zones. Are they typically the same times? And if not, is there any overlap where you can double up on bonuses? And then number three, for really any order on Uber Eats, really invest in that great customer service. If you're doing a handoff, if it is a contactless delivery, I understand that there's not a lot of interaction with the customer. What you might wanna do is invest in a hot and cold bag or even something that not a lot of drivers have is a pizza bag for those deliveries. And then thirdly, even double down on that and include that bag slightly in the confirmation screen, the picture that gets sent to the customer. These best practices when actually backed by data and your local expertise in your marketplace have been proven by drivers, by myself, again, by my brother, when driving, have been proven to get you a higher order payout. So if you got value in this video, definitely drop me a like, and you can also click or tap the screen here for my most recent video, as well as a video recommended for you, and I'll see you in the next one.